Hello, friendos! Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, where today we're going to go into Hyrule Castle. That's right, we are under the water, baby! Woo! And there's a moblin. Here's two more moblins. And a dark nut with a shield. Damn, he staged an all out assault on Hyrule Castle. All right, Snarf. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Uh, you mean three triangles and a puzzle? Do you know where to... Search and what you must do to open the hidden way. You will find a clue in the shape of the... Heraldry? I don't think I've ever had to pronounce that word. Heraldry. And the heraldry near where we arrived at the castle. Huh. I wonder what it could be. Can't be these triangles sitting right there. Let's try going out the back way. I can actually go out? Oh, cool. That's, uh... That was unexpected. For those of you who have never... Ah! Oh. That's why. This puzzle is actually pretty easy. Oh, look at that. I've already got two-thirds of it solved. Oh, whoop. Alright, gotta grab the other end. And... Done. That was far easier than I remember. Maybe it's just because I've done this so many times, everything seems easier. But, hey, we got it done. And now we're going to go down into the basement. Boy, this doesn't seem like a, uh, you know, a cult area at all. Hey. There's nothing cultish about this. Excellent, Snarf! To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Now take the sword that lies before you. It is nothing other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. So, we're just going to pull some random sword out of a random pedestal and hope that it destroys evil. Um, what is this? What the hell is that? Something about the Wii U game ba pad. Battery. That was weird. Uh oh. It's never a good sign when 
things get color. It's also never a good sign when you hear, you know, just a chorus of people. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Gotta take all those on by my lonesome. How many of those are there? Two, four, five. There's only five of them? <laughs> you see that little smile that he had real quick? You got the Master Sword. The legendary blade with the power to repel evil. Once wielded by the legendary hero himself. I'm going to count these. Two, four, five. Okay, there's only five. So those aren't the seven sages. Or the seven knights that gave their life to... No, seven wise men in... Oh, and you're putting me right in front of a fucking dark nut. Ouch. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, gotta take care of this guy. Alright, he's dead. I just want your knight's crest. Now I can get it. Okay, he's done. Okay, I'm not taking that on for right now. Gotcha! And he's dead. Holy crap! I wonder, is there a parry attack for getting behind those guys? I'll have to figure that out later. But for now... <laughs> These guys are easy as pie. I just gotta pick and choose my battles wisely. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy on. Come on. Now I can get this guy. Alright, is he dead? Awesome! I'm making really good headway in this. wonder how many Knight's Crests I have so far. Come on. Take a swing. Ha ha. Alright, 
gotta let you get a free hit in, because I stole your Knight's Crest. I know. That's a hit to the groin for you. Right, let's take this guy out. He's done. Most of these guys are going out pretty easy. I should be taking their uh, skull necklaces too, because there's somebody that really enjoys those in Windfall Island. So there's a real good point to doing that. Ouch! He was quick on that one. This is what you get for smacking me around with that big ass sword. My sword's half the size of yours, and you're just like, oh, I'm easily going to kill this little boy. Well, guess what? You're wrong! I got you! I'm having a lot of fun with this now. What? Okay, that's not what's supposed to happen. Alright, now he's dead. Alright. One rupee for that. Guess I can't be too upset. Thank you for that. And now you can, uh, die? I don't know, that seems a little harsh. But it is true. Alright, let's get on to the next contestant. Come on down! <laughs> That's adding insult to injury. <laughs> Give me that. Well, I think they're all dead. I do believe they're all dead. And I can... Get this... Whatever this is. Reminds me a lot of a Deku shield. Well, I got the Master Sword now, so, uh... I guess it's back to the, uh... The Pirate's hideout. Or, you know... The Forsaken Fortress. Alright, exposition time. Wow, really? No exposition? <laughs> I can see the wind! Why is the wind blowing down here? Shouldn't be any wind. Sweet. So... Now what? You know what? I'm going to go to Windfall. Uh, mainly because I want that faster sale. So I can get this done slightly faster. Yeah, I'm pointed right at it now. Alright. So now we got some time together, let me uh, give you a little bit more background on this, uh, what this game basically means to me. So, it was this game that actually kind of solidified my love for, for Zelda. I know 
um, many of you have different uh, ideas on which Zelda maybe solidified your love for the the series, or maybe which game you think is the best. Uh, everybody's got their their own love for it, and I I absolutely love hearing uh, people's opinions, uh, especially when it comes to stuff that I love. As long as they're not uh, putting it down. All right, there's a storm brewing, so I'm keeping an eye out for Cyclos or whatever his name is. But as long as they're not putting uh, the whole thing down as as you know as a shit game, because there are people that do that. I'm I'm I've been guilty of you know, once or twice saying that something was just crap when I don't necessarily think it was, but I can... Uh, basically, I can understand their Cyclos. Ah, we'll get, we'll get it later. We don't technically need it now. But, um... You know, I, I was guilty uh, of being... You know, that person. Uh, and, and everybody's guilty of, of doing it, but a lot of people just put this one, this game down because of its cartoony aesthetics. And while that is, you know, unfortunate, um, I believe uh, basically they put it down because they wanted something along the lines of Ocarina of Time again. And I think that. J the series kind of stagnating like that is a bad idea. And, you know, people are entitled to their own, uh, own opinions. And the Zelda formula ha did get stagnant for a while, so... You know, it's not like it's not without its warrant, uh, its merits. But let's get this letter. How are you doing, Snarf? Do you have enough of Granny's soup? Where are you now? I'm so lonely. You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You always work so hard, Snarf. You have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm sending you everything I've saved up. Grandma! Okay, so there's two things that I, uh, that I know. Number one... You can't refuse grandma anything. And number two, just take it. Just take anything your grandma gives you. That way, you know, you're saving her time, you're saving your your time, and you're saving both of yourselves a headache. As long as I have you and Ariel, I don't need anything else. I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, grandma. Yay, 20 rupees. That's happy. That's happiness in a bottle. Is this the auction house right here? I forget. Yeah, this is the auction house. Isn't there some dude, like, around here? Just kind of a dick. I think that happens later, but, eh. Let's go to the Elvis look-alike and see if we can't get something awesome from him. You'll know what I mean here in a minute. Yeah, there's the Elvis look-alike. <laughs> oh, that's not it. It's just not it. Okay, I'll do the Elvis voice. Oh, that's... No, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Hey there, baby. Sounds more like Johnny Bravo. Oh dear, pardon me. Pardon me, guy. I, I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I'm taught. I love dancing. More... Th more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two. One, two. 
Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned air night into day right before my very eyes. I can't remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. You think you know the rhythm guy? So, that's how you get him to remember the rhythm. You just do a 3-4 time. Uh, uh, cha. Uh, uh, cha. That's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. Yeah. God. That's it. That's it. And it's perfect. I'm perfect. Now bring on the night. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? Poor guy. But now that I have that... It's gotta be night so I can do the 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 auction. Bye. Oh hello. Alright, so now that it's night, let's go do the auction. Doing the auction house. Hopefully I have enough rupees. Yeah. Hey, bud. Yes, yes. I rent out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh, dear me, is it ever. Now it is indeed an auction. But I like to describe it in more simple terms. It is a competition of very highest order. Oh yes, it is a co uh, Come on. Quit. Yes. What are we? What are we going for? I'm fine with that. I know how to do this. Let's go. Come on. Fucking talking around in circles. Let's just cut to the chase. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes. And what do you suppose will pop up our, as our item this evening? Oh, dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop sniffling. I think you might want to get that checked out. Might, might be something a little bit more serious than just sniffles. The calm before the auction storm. Always makes my nose run. Really? A treasure chart? Uh. Sixty rupees, huh? I think I'm gonna bow out of this one. Oh, somebody... 66 rupees. Seventy rupees, alright. Yeah, yeah. Seventy-seven, huh? Oh, it's going up quick. Eighty-four now. Ninety. Ninety-three. 
Ooh, it's getting so close. Oh, come on. Quit trying to drive up the... the... Oh, now we're at 100, huh? He's really trying to drive up that, that freaking... That price. 110. Now it's gonna go faster. I don't have to be... For this, I don't have to be the best bid. I just have to be the last bid. 134. 138 154 You're driving this price far up there 138 Alright, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna quit this one It's not what I wanted Let's see if we go back in and get a different item I just want the fast sale. That's all I want. I don't want anything else. Alright, come on. Just get just something good. I, I just want something good. Oh, another treasure chart. All right, yeah, yeah, I'm out. I got a quest to finish. The whole reason I went back in is to hopefully get something else, but I guess not. Yeah. All right, so. We need to go. We need to go west. Yeah, let's just uh, point the wind to the west. And just sail from there. I believe that's a fairy island, too. Alright, so let's go to the fairy island. Because I know that's, like, something completely different. What did I hear? I thought I heard something. Anyway, if we go north, any anyway, we'll be in the same row. Okay. Why is there a storm? I don't trust anything when there's a storm. Right, where's the fish? The fish guy should be around here. And boom.
Okay. It's getting stormy again. God, those waves are huge. Have I been up here yet? I don't think so. It should give me more arrows. <laughs> Young Waker... Yeah, we know. Let me aid you in your quest. Give me that sweet stuff, baby. More arrows! I think. More rupees. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but eh, that's kind of the theme for today. I'm doing things that I think I should be doing and not getting what I want. All right. There's the fish. And we'll stop so we can give him some bait. Yeah, hoy small fry, chart, and information, sea chart. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Just give me the good stuff. Northern Fairy Island, huh? That sounds good. Little shop master on Windfall apparently got his hands on some truly amazing treasure. Calls it the magic armor or something like that. It's pretty cool. Magical relic from what I've heard. If you want him to give it to you, try sharing, staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery. Yeah, something tells me that ain't gonna work. Well, I appreciate the uh, sentiment. Is that an island? No, we're not in the new grid square yet. So that can't be an island. That's an island, though. Pretty sure. Hey, it's morning! Best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Which really sucks, because I can't have any coffee. I haven't... I, I get a uh, MRI done on Tuesday and the nurse told me no coffee no coffee or caffeine because it's supposed to be my heart that I'm getting checked out wow it's really getting foggy there's a the dude oh my gosh Why? Why is it so foggy? <laughs> <coughs> Alright, C chart. Let's do it. Star Island. Okay. Arrow that can freeze anything. He's a nasty monster in for Forsaken Fortress for a while. What nasty monster? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh, I do not want uh, seasickness. Oh boy. That's what will happen if I stay close to the boat and just see it rocking up and down. I will get seasick. Especially on those large-ass waves. Actually, I don't think I've ever been seasick. I've done a couple of, uh... Oh, 
I'm out of bait. We'll just put the grappling hook up there for now. So, we got to go to the Forsaken Fortress. And automatically, it becomes night. Under the guise of night. And there we go, baby. Into the Forsaken Fortress we go. <laughs> this is probably one of the easiest things. Ganon has likely been made aware of our little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting evil back. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. I wasn't afraid to begin with there, buddy. I mean, I came in here, guns a friggin' blazing. Alright, you piece of shit, let's do this. Let's do this tennis game. Catch it. Ha! Serve one. One to zero. All right. Your serve. Back at you. One more time. Right back at you. Uh. Ha-ha! Oh yeah, I believe that's game set and match. <clears throat> you can uh, laugh all you want, still whoop your ass. You can't stop me. Oh, not those things. Sweet skull hammer. Let's frickin' go. Alright. Whack. I don't really need to be subtle this time. You just frickin' go. Actually, I think I do have to take those out. Don't they shoot at me or something? That's okay. Oh my gosh! Stop following me! I'm just gonna take out the searchlights just in case. Alright, come on. Get on the ladder. There we go. Actually, I think I need this too. I don't really need my bombs for anything right now. All right, he's dead. Oh, I can make things easier on myself. <laughs> yes. Helion!
First of all, you're gonna give me the butterfly necklace. Ah, uh, this is... This has been quite easy. Alright, I can't go up just yet. I gotta take this one out, I think. Alright, come on. There we go. Thank you for that. I am going to need this out, I guess. Whack! Whack. They have barbed wire all over them? Is barbed wire invented by the time that... I am thinking too hard on that. All I need is for this searchlight to go out and then I'm pretty sure we'll be set get on the ladder link damn it now that we're not being subtle about any anything this, is, this part of the game is so much easier so I can just go up and start fighting shit Open the door. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody knew the dinosaur. <laughs> Not even. Huh. I guess they destroyed that box. And now I'm just. That was easy. Well, they're supposed to be like, oh yeah, there, there they are. I thought the wall masters were supposed to be. Are they floor masters? I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that I thought they were supposed to be on this floor, but they aren't. I just hope there's not like a boss key that I need. For all of the stuff that I remember about this game, there's like three or four different things that I don't remember. Come on, guys. Alright, I think they're leaving me alone now. Dun 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 Really? He just decided, oh, we're, we're still going to fuck up your day. <laughs> They're trying to get to me. It's so funny to me. All right. Bonk. Yeah, I'll just keep this cartoonishly giant hammer out. He's looking around first. <laughs> Yay! Big Brother! You're okay! I was... Worried. 
Oh, it takes more than that to get your big brother. Hi. Still won't open that easily. Oh, hey, Tetra. What's going on? There you go, acting before you think, as usual. She has her boys. I swear, do you even realize we had to draw that monster bird off for you? I was about to come flying in here after you again. Are you okay? Like... Petra? That sword. Where did you get that? Are you? Is it even possible? How could it be? Hmm. Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll take we'll just take the girls. I'm sure their fathers back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. <clears throat> They're kicking. Yay! Oh, and her pupils, like, warp. So sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. But isn't there still something you need to take care of? That's true. If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally, I'd expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time, it's my treat. Listen, Aerol, your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so you just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Miss Tetro, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. Big Brother! Bye! Snarf. We'll be back. I swear it. Ah, uh, you're not... Well, give... Uh... Alright, let's fucking go. Oh, really? <laughs> Water. Like, that's really gonna stop me. All right, let's boogie. Ah, ah. Well, there you go. I don't even need... Damn! It's pretty ruthless, even for... freaking Ganon's minions. <laughs> They're all just freaking dead. Whack! Bye! That's so satisfying. The thing's been on your ass, like, since moment one. So when you get to knock it around a little bit, it's it's very satisfying. They, they really did this part well. But now it's starting to close. Oh no! The bird's back! Who could have thought? It's molting really bad. Jesus. You might want to get that checked out there, Ganon. 
All right, Chief. Let's fucking go. Hey, I thought I took out those, uh... Yeah! I knocked around your freaking... Your... Uh... Mask? Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Let's go. Oh, you still want to go? Your mask will break, I promise. This kind of reminds me of that, uh, the one from... The one boss fight from A Link to the Past, where you have to break off... Oh, was it, was it a, 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 uh... I can't remember if it was, like, a freaking... Oh, uh, what was it? Was it a scorpion-like thing? Come on, bitch. Try something else. Let's go. <laughs> you ran into the Forsaken Fortress. You're an idiot. <clears throat> You're gonna run into it every time. I'm going to goad you into doing that. If I have to. Alright. Well, that was done. That was easy. I expected a little bit more. Oh. There we go. Come on, just explode for me, baby. You've caused me so much trouble that you deserve that one. I deserve this. I deserve this sweet victory. But that's not where we're going to end things, baby. We're going to finish it off with this. Does that look like a pig to you? I couldn't tell. So here we are, face to face. It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for the, your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf, and I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy, you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal. Did you by chance notice how all the mo monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child. While that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time it has long played another role. You see, it is also a sort of key. A most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. <laughs> you 
You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that pathetic f Okay. Tell that to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Its power is gone, and its edges are dull. Snarf, get up! Like, he's three times their size. Uh, stop! Let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat! Huh? My Triforce of Power is resonating! Ha! Huh? At long last, I have found you, Princess Zelda! Wait, what? 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 What are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda! Feigning ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? Well. <laughs> Yeehaw, baby. And Vlu. Scorch him, dude. Fucking get him. I mean, that's one way to light a beacon. Hey, isn't that Kamali? Nice. It's all right, Snarf. She merely has lost consciousness. Your sister escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. Is he cross-eyed? I'm aware of this. Yet I thought our first priority should be to separate these two from Ganon's grasp. Well, I guess, uh, that's that. <laughs> that was a short little conversation. Bye, guys. Snarf, I will explain things later. Now we must return to the world beneath the sea. Well, I guess there's that. that's one way of doing things. Yay, she's awake. Oh, ow. Snarf, you're all right? What is this place? Hey, and Ganondorf! What happened to him? Hey. Snarf, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? Just who are you? Snarf and I... <clears throat> Snarf and I are the only ones who can speak through the stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Snarf to see me at once. Hmm. Well, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Snarf, what are you waiting for? 
You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. Well, first we gotta go around the damn boat. But, but that's all the time I'm gonna take it up for today. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications no matter what we do. On the left is a recommended for you video, and on the right is yesterday's video. So give that a like, comment, and a share so we can continue to grow this fine channel. I know this is this actually went for an hour this time. How do I know? Because I can see the, the uh, timer down there. And this is actually the first ep ever episode that I think has gone the full hour. But I'm so happy that this game is going as as smoothly as it has been. Uh, I even with all the hiccups with my computer, uh, the the game and and just the playthrough is going s spectacularly. Uh, I can't really um, say much more about how well this is going, but. Again, I thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to stay frosty, guys.